The muddler is an important tool for any bartender, but one of the common mistakes I see him do with it is something called an ice muddle, or as Gary Reagan refers to it, the Seattle muddle. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. When bartenders want to incorporate lime juice or lemon juice into a cocktail, there's something they do sometimes that just kind of really grates on my nerves. It's called an ice muddle, and they think they're actually adding fresh lime juice to their cocktail. Let's take a look at it and see what's really happening. It starts off with a standard pint glass. They add some ice, they throw in some limes, add a little more ice, and then they take a muddler, and they just start going crazy on it. The idea being they're muddling up the limes and getting some good juice going on in there. Let's just kind of quickly see how much juice we got. Okay, I got a little bit, a little bit over an ounce. Now let's try an alternate approach. Same bar glass, same limes, but this time no ice. Now let's measure this. And this time we got a half ounce of juice out of it. Clearly, we got more juice out of the muddled limes here. Let's take a closer look. If I pull these limes out, they're, they're mangled. But by no means are they fully juiced. I pull these limes out. And you can clearly see that I got the juice out of there. Well, I mean, but I only got a half ounce of juice here, but I got over an ounce of juice here. The problem is this isn't all juice. This is also water from the ice. And so there's really no way of knowing how much juice you got in here. Um, so which way should you use? Should you use the ice muddling where you're really not getting all the juice out of the limes or use the dry muddling where you are getting all the juice out of the lime? Well, the real answer is neither. Uh, because in a drink like this, you're following a recipe that's saying juice of half a lime. And the problem with doing juice of half a lime, you really don't know how much juice you're getting. In this case, I got, I know, a half ounce of lime juice. Is a half ounce of lime juice the right amount to put in a drink? In this particular drink, no, it's not. Um, it wouldn't do the right thing. And I wouldn't know whether I needed to scale back on something else because I really wouldn't know how much juice I got out. What you really want to do is measure your ingredients, of course. So we're gonna make ourselves a margarita the right way, which means measuring all of the ingredients. Start, start off with our tequila, a nice silver tequila. Follow that by some Cointreau. Cointreau, of course, is, like I've said in the past, a triple sec. It's just a very good version of a triple sec. And then we're going to add to that our lime juice, measuring it so we know exactly how much juice we're getting. With the dry muddle, we would have been getting fresh juice, but by not measuring it, you're not really getting all the benefits of fresh juices because you're not controlling everything that's going into the drink. So this then gives us a margarita that we know the quality of because we're not ice muddling, we're not dry muddling, we're measuring. 
And remember, the next time you want to add a juice to your drink, don't ice muddle half a lime. Don't dry muddle half a lime. Measure the amount of juice you want to add. And that's the way you get a perfectly balanced margarita.